at six. A warning from police when it comes to Gasparilla and those e-scooters. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Wendy Ryan. And I'm Jamison Euler. The Gasparilla Adult Parade is next weekend, and it's the first year scooters are sprinkled around the city during the popular event. And new tonight, ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee showing us why you should think twice before hopping on if you've had a few drinks. They're fun and fast, but not everyone loves them. I believe the scooters are a little bit dangerous just around downtown with all the construction and potholes. They're not very big tires. Dustin Applebaum has friends who have wiped out while riding around on scooters. Add alcohol to the mix. You're just setting yourself up for some kind of accident or liability. And since it's the first time scooters will be in the city when the pirates invade and parade down Bayshore Boulevard, some people may think hopping on a scooter while drinking isn't a big deal. A lot of times some of our worst ideas are when we're drinking. You know, at the time it seems like a great idea, but it doesn't always end that way. Chief Brian Dugan loves the scooters. He rides them too, but he says it is illegal to drink and scoot. TPD has pulled people over for it before. If it's motorized, you're, you're potentially facing a DUI arrest. Bird won't have any scooters on the road January 25th, but you can see they are already starting to pull the scooters off of the grid. Uber, on the other hand, will have scooters just about everywhere. Lime is still working out its plans and we're waiting to hear back from Spin. Just be mindful of the traffic. Treat it as if you were a car. And if you do decide to get on a scooter, don't get on it intoxicated. All four companies say getting on a scooter after drinking is prohibited. In Tampa, Heather Lee, ABC Action News. Meanwhile, Uber, who runs the jump scooter, says they'll be putting out even more scooters than normal to keep up with the demand, and it will have staff around to replace drain scooters with charge ones right away. Jameson. The Pirates actually return tomorrow for the Children's Parade on Bayshore Boulevard. You'll see extra law enforcement patrols, including surveillance towers, so officers can watch from above. Remember, the Kids Parade is a dry event. Deputies and officers will also make sure no one has any alcohol. So right now, we have a whole section on our website dedicated to all things Gasparilla. ABCActionNews.com slash Gasparilla is where you'll find traffic and parking information as well as safe ways to get to the parades.